Contrary to widely held expectations, the revival or reinstatement of the reserve officer's training course into the collegiate, collegiate curriculum would not be a cakewalk or done deal for its sponsors and advocates in the Senate. Today's lively debate between Senators Gachalian, De La Rosa on the one side against Senator Chis Escudero on the pushback is a preview of a rather prolonged and spirited discussion on the issue and whose outcome go either way as our Daniel Manalastas reports. Senators exchange different opinions on the proposed revival of the mandatory ROTC program. Senator Chisa Escudero questioned the bill, requiring women to also participate, compared to the policy before. Bakit noon hindi sinasabay ang babae under the National Defense Act, under RA 7077, but now there is a push to include them already. Siguro ang rason, as I have said, Hindi popular yung gender equality during that time. Right now, gender equality is the norm of the day. Just give them the benefit of uh, serving this country, including LGBTQ. Yeah, they're women. Everyone. They're women. Everyone. Escudero admitted that this subject back in his school days was not one he enjoyed or even liked. He added, there is no data indicating women also like the revival of the mandatory ROTC. That's why he asked Senator Ronald De La Rosa on whether a consultation on women has been arranged or made. My daughters, Mr. President, tinanong ko sila, gusto nila. My staff ng mga babae, gusto nila. Alam namang sabihin sa'yo, hindi, author ka. I'm just being candid, Mr. President. Senator Sherwin Gatchalian quickly answered Escudero by citing results of a survey in a March 2023 showing 78% of students polled favor reviving the program. I think we have to look at this as as, as a whole, no? So it's still a um, itong ROTC thingin ko, no? Has dual purpose, in fact, triple purpose na nga. Number one is for instilling of discipline and patriotism. Uh, since ginagawa rin natin yan sa school natin, may academic purpose rin siya. Gachalian admitted he is not yet sure how his fellow senators will vote on the bill. They also expect the hot debate to continue in the coming days. Daniel Manalastas, For The Nation.